magnets. I love them, don't you? It's a little simple one bar magnet here with a black and a red end. There's one north and one south. It'll hold it in the middle. That's a nice steel screw, incidentally. Even the point, it's quite a strong little magnet. It even holds there as well. Now, the thing is, if I was to heat that up with a blowtorch so it reached quite a high temperature, about 770 Celsius, possibly almost glowing, it would suddenly stop behaving like a magnet, or it would, it would lose its ferromagnetism, and when I touch it with a magnet, we'll say it's this end, it would behave no more than a piece of wood, as if that was made of wood or plastic. It would have no attraction to this magnet at all, but this is room temperature, and it's very highly magnetizable. Now, have a look at this equipment here, which we've got, which is going to show something extraordinary about this property. This is a, a little kit here containing a very strong magnet on this side. Let me show you how strong it is because that's a screw sticking out. That's a very, very strong magnet, a neodymium magnet. And it's got a piece of wire here, aluminium wire. The tricky bit is that tiny little ring there which contains a, a, little, a little piece of alloy which has also a Curie point where it loses its magnetic property, much, much lower temperature, of perhaps just a few hundred degrees, and it'll no longer be magnetizable. At the moment, it's being drawn to the very powerful magnet, and if you swing it away like that, you've got to hold it way over there to make it stop, and then bring it back and wing, blah, 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 blah. So if you light the candle, it's going to light this little ring here, and it will then lose its magnetic properties, its aeromagnetism. What will happen? Well, you'll see. All I need to do is get a match, pretend it's someone's birthday, light it, and let's see what occurs. Which is it? There we go. Ooh, something's happening already. Extraordinary, isn't it? It comes into the flame, it's heated up, it instantly loses its magnetic properties, its ferromagnetism, and falls away under gravity, and then it cools down enough instantly. I'll see if I can bend it a little bit more like that. It's clicking away like a like a motor almost, isn't it? And that's what we call this. It's a motor which is driven by the Curie point, the point at which it's losing its ferromagnetic properties, and this magnet, which is permanent all the time, giving very strong lines of magnetic flux coming out of it attracts and then fails to attract that tiny little ring. The wire bit is made of aluminium and that's not affected by this at all, it, uh, like copper and so on, it, it, it won't respond to magnetic forces. But that tiny little ring there is responding at, at room temperature to a magnetic force, which is why when I turn the flame away strongly, perhaps there, it'll be pulled towards it. When I put it there, it's coming into the flame, heats up above this few hundred degrees, and instantly loses its magnetic, ferromagnetic properties and falls away. And it's now almost, if I get it at just the right angle, I can get it to tick back and forward. Tick, 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 tick. I'll go a bit more like that. Let's try an angle like that. No, it's too much. As it's going in there, it's cooling down and then it's being drawn to the very strong magnets there on the side there. And it will go on for as long as the candle is giving heat. You can tune it to a point in which it's actually falling away quite a bit, but you need to find out that, that, where that point is. Let's try that there. Oh, yes, look. But it's quivering exactly like a little motor. It's creating movements. Extraordinary, which is why they record it as a, a, a type of, 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 of motor. Wonderful, isn't it? Very, very interesting, very strong demonstration of this extraordinary effect, all to do with this magical critical point called the Curie point. And it can be done with a candle, not with blow torches, which makes life a little bit easier, but there we are. So that's going to go on for as long as the flame is close enough to it to raise it above the two or three, three or four hundred, a few degrees, hundred degrees, and make it lose, lose its ferromagnetic properties, and then it falls away, pulled down by gravity.